Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, host of Bachelor Nation News, and we have a buffet of Bachelor content to get to. Namely, our lead story here, Becca Martinez gives birth to a healthy baby boy on September 28th and shows the days-old photo of the wrinkly little baby. We love a good baby photo. We're going to have this story and more to get into. And by the way, check out that view. That's that's not one of those Zoom green screen backgrounds. I'm going to lift my laptop up. That right there is actually my over water villa here in the great country called the Maldives, which is in the Indian Ocean. And if you want to get a full tour of my over-the-water bungalow, you can go check that out now on Patreon. I posted the full video there. You can see my domicile and everything that comes with it. Uh, that's right. We got, look at that. Pause right there. We've got the glass floor. And if you want, you can go hear what I have to say. It gets kind of graphic at one point. But hey, say la vie. That's vacation life, folks. Again, that's at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. All right, we'll get to um, Becca Martinez in a second. But they've wetted down the patio for Jesse Palmer and Joey. He just posted this. Can you believe we've already gotten past? Uh, I think they're shooting episode four reality, Steve said, in Malta. Is that correct? Where's Malta? Is that in Spain? I don't know. Either way, uh, Jesse Palmer said, so this straggler showed up to the mansion recently. That's right. He's like looking like, I don't know if this is going to work out for me. You know, that face of fear that we all have. All right. And in other news, which by the way, I'm going to share this on today's Bachelor Rush Hour of the podcast. We have Rudy from Listen to Your Heart, the best Bachelor show that nobody watched. I did. I loved it. Rudy over here uh, auditioned for The Voice and she absolutely crushed it. I can't share that with you guys because it's copywritten material, but look at Gwen Stefani. She's all pumped. That shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. If you didn't know how to spell bananas, now you do. And Rudy is spelling success. She said, give me one margarita. I might show up on your TV. And she certainly did. So let's hope that this is a big win for Rudy. We're going to be cheering her story on. Again, I've got that full commentary on today's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. Just go search Bachelor Rush Hour wherever you listen to podcast. Okay, so Becca Martinez posted this on her last days of pregnancy. And guys, come on, you got to respect the miracle that is the female body. You got to respect, and this looks photoshopped. If this was in a movie, I'd say, could you get me a more realistic looking belly? I mean, this is like, it's amazing. It's amazing what's going on here. Um, so let's go to what she posted. The last days of pregnancy, sometimes stretching to agonizing weeks, are a distinct place, time, event, stage. It is a time of in between. Neither here nor there. Your old self and your new self, balanced on the edge of a pregnancy. One foot in your old world, one foot in a new world. Germans have a word, schwitzen, which means between. Is that, did I pronounce it right? The time of in between where the openings begin, giving it a new, giving it a name gives it dimension, an experience closer to wonder than endurance. That's from Jane Studel, Studel, Studelska from the last days of pregnancy, a place of in-between. And she went from the last days of pregnancy to the first days of having a third child. Boy, life comes at you fast. Don't Isn't it funny that everyone's like, oh, Becca Martinez is too young to settle down. And she's like, well, I'm going to settle down with multiple kids. And there she was. So let's go to her Instagram reel. She posted the first uh, reel. That's her babies reading the new baby book and then panning over to there it is, the 48 hour young baby good don't you love the healthcare system in the u.s they just shoot these babies out and get you out of the hospital like you're buying cold cuts at the store right it's like uh, number seven your order's up boom and it's like can i even what you know can i get a minute here so either way there's becca martinez and now we have becca kufrin so Becca Kufrin has opted not to, and I'm not judging regardless, either way, Becca Kufrin has opted not to share any images of her baby. So and said, why do you cover up his face? Why post anything? All the other moms on social media showed their baby's faces, and we are proud too. I spelled too wrong. Oh, don't you hate it? And it's like, yeah, you idiot. Maybe, maybe Becca just wants to protect her child. It's her firstborn. She doesn't want to mess this thing up. She says, other moms can do whatever they like with their own children. We decided to protect him. Him and as much privacy as much po as privacy as possible on social media. It's a personal choice that may not please others, but that doesn't mean I'm not proud of my baby. He's the best thing that's ever happened to me, and he's all that matters, not other people's opinions at this time. 
And then she said, I've received countless DMs asking why we aren't showing Benson's face. It's our personal choice and one that Thomas and I agreed upon to best protect his space and privacy. One day he will be old enough to make his own decisions if he wants to join the crazy world of social media. But until then, we're protecting him the best way we know how. This doesn't mean I'm not proud to be his mother. It's the exact opposite. It may not please others, but all I care about is my little man. C'est la vie. And the way I look at it is this. I've said this multiple times. You can look at it either way. Grew up with a single mom who had to work extra long hours and we had babysitters and this and that. And it's like, what, you know, I'm sure if my mom had the choice and I'm sure if I had the choice as a baby, I'd rather spend time with my mom, her make a considerable amount of money and be able to be an influencer. And that's what Becca Martinez does, right? The kids become part of what she shares. She does really fun, you know, posts on April Fool's Day pranks and this and that. Well, uh, you know, one year, Becca Martinez spray uh, photoshopped her kids to look like they got spray tans, and she did like a baby spray tan, like influencer post. I mean, that's that's just funny stuff, right? Funny stuff. But Becca Martinez, um, excuse me, Becca Kufrin doesn't have to share photos of the baby, so she's opting not to because they're doing well, I'm assuming financially. You know, if it was show photos of the baby or go work an 80-hour job, it's like, all right, photos of the baby coming right up, but she's got the luxury of not having to do that. So no judgment to either. There, there's Thomas, good father that he is, getting that chest-on-chest -chest time with Benson and their dog is uh, protecting them. How nice, you know, you read that dogs actually will get very protective of the baby. They treat It's one of the family. They're like, this is a new member of the family and I'm going to protect it. So, so good to see there. And uh, Becca Kufrin enjoying. She said, I've dried my hair for the first time in weeks and I feel like Beyonce. And then posts a photo of her mom holding Benson. I mean, just beautiful stuff there. Like we can share the beauty without exploiting the child. And it's not that it's exploiting, but it's like, you know, if they don't need to do it, they don't need to do it. She says, you know, I'm sleep deprived when this is on TV and I don't change the channel. I'm delusional. And that is her watching football. So some sleepless nights for Thomas and Becca Kufrin, but, uh, you know, I think they mentioned they're dealing with the child's gas. I mean, you, you know, breaking news story from Bachelor Nation News, the ben, Benny's got gas. Uh, <laughs> either way, there he is, and Thomas looks on in awe. He goes, I created that? Wow. All right, well, I've got some other news for you if you haven't, uh, you know, noticed when we can't get to content here on the YouTube channel, because first of all, if you don't understand, it takes me a lot of time and effort to make YouTube thumbnails. And again, I'm not saying that because I need a pat on the back, but you got to add arrows and things and bullets and this and that. I get to way more content on the podcast that I don't get to here. So I've got non-bachelor stories. We've got a missing nine-year-old girl found safe. That story's on today's news. Plus, Taylor Swift's sets NFL ratings records for the NFL. I've got those stories and a couple others available today on the podcast. And if you didn't catch my other YouTube video, which had Rachel Recchia uh, sort of mischaracterizing Tino Franco again, this isn't uh, deja vu. It happened again on a new podcast. You can go catch the spark notes of that on today's Bachelor Rush Hour. And also, lastly, the last thing I'll promote here before I get out of here is if you haven't already, check out my interview with Chad from Game of Roses. We had a fantastic conversation on Driving with Dave. I'll post it right over there. Where's the arrow? Over there. And you can go click on it and hear that conversation we talked a lot about the behind the scenes of recapping and commentary regarding the bachelor world i think you'll really enjoy that podcast episode if you haven't listened to it already all right well unless there's any other crazy breaking news i'll be back tomorrow with more content for you all as always i've been dave neal and this was a bachelor updates involving becca martinez becca kufrin and so much other we'll talk to you later bye guys